Hey there, it's Jenny Hobbs, Fit Mom MD, and we are here in Charleston for one of our first kid-free vacations in a long time. We have a whole week without our kids, and I was super excited because I actually managed to pack everything I needed in just carry-ons. And I've actually been doing this since January of this year for every trip that I've taken, and it's made my life so much easier. Well, actually, I take that back. There was one trip where I did not do it, and I took a check-in bag and of course it got lost in the airport and I didn't have it for the entire trip and it was terrible. So I'm ever since then, I'm very committed to getting everything into a carry-on. When I shared that with some people, they said they had a million questions for me about how I did it. So I want to share exactly what I've learned and what's working for me. Um, the other thing that's so nice about this is that now that I have it down to a system, packing and choosing my clothes for the plane ride is so much easier because I've sort of figured out what works. So. All right, so let me get right to it. So the first thing, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks here. So when I'm traveling, this is how I look. Um, I do have, this is my personal item. This is my uh, carry-on bag. And then I have this crossbody bag. Now one person did point out that technically this is three bags, but I have never gotten in trouble from anyone for having the crossbody bag on. Um, and what I do is I just, you know, I don't check in at the ticket counter, go through security, no problems, walk onto the plane, no problems, put the, Carry on up in the overhead bin. Okay. Well, Kevin helps me put it in the overhead bin because it's very heavy and you'll see in a minute. Um, but um, then everyone just sees me with this small bag and this bag, both of which will fit in front of the seat in front of me. So it's, it's worked out for me. I don't think I'm really breaking any rules. Worst case scenario, if they did have a problem, I could always gate check the carry on, but at least that seems a lot safer to me um, than you know trusting that it gets from the ticket counter to the plane. Um, and also it's just, that saves me like 15 minutes in the morning of getting to the airport when I'm already late. So, so anyway, so, so far this has worked for me. So how do I make this work? So the first thing is having the right bags. Um, as you can see, the bag that I like to use is the Away brand. It's the larger carry-on. I did try this with the regular carry-on because Kevin convinced me that I could manage to do that like he does, and I cannot do that. But the larger carry-on works for me. Um, then the next is a Low and Sons OMG. They have a larger version called version called the OG. Um, I got the OMG because I'm kind of a shorter person and I thought the other would be too big. And they've recently rebranded it like OG2 and it comes in two sizes, but it's the same bag, just this is the smaller version. Um, and then this is my Chanel Jumbo flap. Obviously Chanel is a more expensive investment. This is something I got actually with my signing bonus from my first attending job 10 years ago. Um, but you don't have to have this brand, just a larger crossbody will work. So, and then let me show you what I've got in here. This is the first time I've actually managed to do all this. But um, normally with my Chanel, what I do is I nest inside this little coach um, wallet clutch. Um, which works really well then for like while we're traveling for a quick night out if I don't want the bigger bag and doubles as a wallet inside here. Um, this time I tried something new um, and this is my Low & Sons Pearl crossbody. It has a removable uh, crossbody strap. And I like this because it's a little bit smaller and I'd actually kind of like to replace this for some of my trips with the smaller one. Um, as you can see, it has a ton of pockets inside, um, lots of space here for all my snacks, <laughs> makeup, lipstick, sunglasses. You can fit a Kindle in here. So it's really nice. Um, but this time around, I wanted to actually bring all three because I have different outfits that I think will go better with the blush or the black. So I'm a little high maintenance. So I found that this actually tucks right in here really nicely. So I was able to tuck all three of these bags inside and now I have options for all week for going out. So not that you have to invest in all of those bags right off the bat, but having the right bags makes a huge difference. Um, the other thing that's nice about the Chanel is, you know, when you wear a crossbody like that, it's more casual, but if you pull the strap through, like this, you can kind of gently pull it through. Maybe not while you're doing a video like this, but then you can just double it up and wear it um, as a shoulder bag and it looks a little bit nicer for a nicer dinner out. So the next one over here, just show you really quick. The Low and Sons, it's so great. You can read about it online, but this is a can be a pocket or you can so you zip it close to the pocket, zip it open, it slides over your handle of your uh, carry-on has tons of pockets. I don't actually use all the pockets, but um, as you can see inside here, I'm able to fit an empty water bottle, my shaker cup for my fire juice and my shakes that I make. I've got, as I showed you guys before, my bedtime routine stuff, my makeup, a warm jacket or sweater down here, 
my laptop's in there. I actually have even like a separate keyboard for my laptop because I don't like the one that has a notebook to write on. Um, so I really fit a ton in there, but there's a lot of inside pockets if you want to use those. It also has this really cool pocket over here, which is meant actually for like if you're doing a day trip and you wanna put shoes in there, but I like to just put my jewelry and my power cords so that I can easily find those things while we're traveling. So that all fits nicely in there. And you could probably stuff even more in there, honestly. When we went with our kids to Italy, I had their extra jackets in here as well. So it's pretty handy. So that's what I have in my carry-on. So I have enough to have water, snacks, drinks, makeup, <laughs> melatonin and things if I have to sleep on the plane, all my cords, everything is right there with me. All right, so let me show you. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about is your travel outfit. So this is probably one of the biggest keys. So I always wear a jean jacket for traveling because it's so easy for layering over everything during my trip. And it's also that I don't have to pack the jean jacket. Um, I, I keep a separate warm jacket in my bag, as you saw, because I get really cold on airplanes, so I kind of like to have two, one for like a pillow or one to keep me warmer. Um, then I usually do some kind of lighter top like this. As you guys have seen, if I'm on vacation with my husband, I do my, you know, oh hey vacay shirt, which means I'm actually on a true vacation. Um, sometimes I swap this outfit out and I'll just do like a maxi dress instead of this. And then I love these leggings from Athleta because they're more comfortable than jeans for the plane, but they don't look you know, totally like yoga pants, although they basically are. They call them jeggings or something. Um, and that works really well for me. And then these shoes. So I recommend wearing a big pair of shoes on the plane because it will be so much easier to pack the rest of your shoes if you don't have these taking up as much space. So I like these. They're super comfortable because of the way they are wedges. These are Michael Kors. Um, and I bring a lot of shoes, as you'll see, that are in neutral colors because they'll go with almost anything that I'm wearing on the trip so I can reuse them more times. So your travel outfit is really, really important. Again, comfy pants, light shirt, jacket that's versatile, shoes that are versatile and big, um, and then maybe a maxi dress. Like on the way home, I'll probably switch it out for a maxi dress. So, my luggage. Now, when I say I'm all in carry-ons, I'm barely all in carry-ons. This is like heavy. And I'm gonna be honest, when I close it, I have to sit on it. First time I did that, my daughter cheered for me, which was very cute. And my husband had the opposite reaction and he was just to roll his eyes. But hey, I say, if you, are, if you don't have to sit on your luggage to close it, then you're just wasting space. So let's start over here. So I was talking about shoes. All right. So speaking of versatile shoes, you guys, everyone needs a pair of these. I've had these babies for like six years. They are patent Tory Burch flip-flops. I've also had the leather ones. The leather ones get torn up. These ones are torn up, but you can't tell when I'm wearing them. And this color, I think it's the sand patent. It's so versatile. It goes with everything, looks great on anybody. Highly, highly recommend. I can, if I'm going to Hawaii, I can almost bring this pair of shoes and then the pair I'm wearing right now that I just showed you and be good for the whole week. Except my running shoes, that's next. Um, of course, my running shoes are here. Um, the other shoes I like to bring, especially if I'm going to be dressing up and going out to nice dinners like this, is my leopard pumps. Kevin is probably smirking over there because he doesn't like leopard print, but I obviously do. Um, so I fit those in there. And then these are these sort of trendy sparkly sneakers are kind of good for walking around more. I don't always bring these, but I found this time I was actually able to fit them in and I was super excited. Little hack, stuck your, stick your socks in there, save more space. Also helps the shoes keep their shape a little bit. Um, and then if I'm going out for any sort of fancy event, I tend to always just bring these sparkly Jimmy Choo's because these could go with almost anything. Like you can get away with them with almost any event um, that's a little dressier. Now, do I really need a dressy wedge and a more casual wedge like the one I'm wearing? Maybe not, but I can fit them both in. So I do. So, but as you can see, my shoes are mostly in these neutral colors and I like sparkle, so they also are sparkly. Um, and that means I can wear them with lots of different outfits. In fact, I packed all this stuff for one trip, you guys, and I found at the end I didn't even wear the leopard pumps, so I just wasted space by bringing them. So sometimes you have to check yourself. Got all my shakes and fire juice and bars and peanut butter packets, and then my blender to make my protein shake. So I'm all set with that. Um, which is amazing. I can put that there. And then this is all my toiletries, my skincare, etc. etc. 
put my, I have my basic makeup in my carry-on, but the rest all goes in there. And then this is why the away bag is so great, because this is a compression uh, system. So you can see there's a ton of clothes in here, and we basically, I'll show you, stuff them in here, and then you just simply flip these things and pull it down as hard as you can. And it doesn't look like it's gonna fit, but once you do that and you pack that in and you sit on this bad boy, it's good. That's how I discovered I could fit these sparkly shoes. I didn't know I could do that until I got smart with the compression. So this is a little different than what I wore when we first left, because I have a few things already in there included uh, laundry bag. Um, but this is the basic idea. So jeans, I find rolling up jeans just makes them more bulky. So I like to just kind of fold them flat on the top at the end. So I fit in one pair of jeans. Um, oh, and I should mention packing cubes are the best. So you would not be able to fit this much stuff without packing cubes. Something about putting them in there and then zipping it up kind of just compresses everything into a more manageable size. So this one is, I'm not going to bore you guys by showing every single item of clothing, but I want to give you a sense. So this is like my leather leggings, faux leather leggings, you know, some kind of yoga pants, another pair of the Athleta jeggings that I can kind of dress up or down, jean shorts, I already showed you my jeans, so those are bottoms. This includes three dresses, a maxi skirt, nine shirts of various types, so lighter ones and some heavier ones. This trip is to Charleston, it's a little bit warmer, and I have my jacket, so I mostly just tried to bring lighter weight tops so that I wouldn't have to take up so much packing room. But nine tops, you guys, I'm only here for a week, and I just said I have three dresses and nine tops, like I think I'm good. Um, that even gives me options because I like to have options when I travel. Unlike Kevin, Kevin just brings like one outfit for each day. Um, anyway, um, so this is my workout clothes. So I brought three whole workout outfits. This has also got three sports bras in there. And then this is two swimsuits and a bunch of, you know, underwear and bras and unmentionables, etc. cetera. Um, so that stuff was all in here, you guys. I'm not gonna repack it because, well, I've already repacked it multiple times on this trip. I actually repacked it just to unpack it for you guys for this video, but I did it because I'm so excited and this is the sort of thing I nerd out about. And for years, I, anyone will tell you, I am a very much an overpacker and a last minute packer and this has taken so many headaches away from me. Um, so I hope that you find at least some of those tips helpful. Um, I would love to hear if you have any tips that have helped you with packing. I'm always looking for ways to improve. In fact, just on this trip, I bought uh, sort of a cream colored shawl um, that's really warm that I think I'm going to use as uh, my plain, <laughs> plain item moving forward. So I'm always improving and tweaking this to make it work for me. Um, so I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'd love to hear if you took anything away from this that helped you. And um, watch for next week. We're going to share a little bit more about what we did on our trip. And if you guys have any other questions or topics you'd like me to talk about, please let me know. Also, uh, if you like what you're seeing here, please be sure to click below to subscribe and turn on notifications. I do have new videos coming out each week and I would love to be able to share more tips with you. So hope you have an awesome weekend.